But my mom had bought me gym shorts that was my exact size and extra small. <laughs> so that wasn't very cool because it came down mid-thigh. <laughs> and apparently back in the day, that was called a John Stockton. <laughs> and the same kid next to me, that bully next to me, he's like, hey, hey, look at it. Hey, don't wear your pants like that. Pull your pants down, man. Pull your pants down. And I was like, who's the gay one now? <laughs> But I didn't know what to do. Everybody was looking at me, and this kid kept saying, pull your pants down. So I was like, oh, I've seen Shawshank Redemption. Maybe this is just how it works in America. So I start pulling down my shorts all the way down to my knees, all the way down to my ankle. And that same kid, the bully next to me, is like, hey, what are you doing? Don't pull them down all the way. That's gay. And I'm like, what is not gay in this country? And apparently this other kid next to me, he's like, hey, don't pull them down all the way. Just sag them a little bit. Just sag your pants. And I didn't know what sagging your pants meant. Apparently that's a cool hip-hop thing to pull your pants down halfway down your butt. So you show everybody your <laughs> And apparently that's the only not gay way to wear your pants in America. I had no idea. All these weird American things I wasn't used to. Eventually, I learned how to speak English by watching a lot of TV, mainly BET Rap City. Because that was my I want to be cool, and nothing cooler than BET Rap City, right? Every music video was a slice of somebody's American dream. The first music video I saw was Jay-Z's Big Pimpin'. You guys remember that yeah. Jay-Z's Big Pimpin' was the greatest music video of all time. It's Jay-Z and his boys on a yacht pouring champagne on this beautiful woman's face for like four minutes. I was like, this is America? It's amazing. That's all I wanted to do. Like before I even wanted to get into stand-up, but that's all I want to do. I want to be a rapper. I want to be like Jay-Z and Big Pimpin'. So I started my own rap group in high school. It's a true story. It was me, my black friend Julian, and my other friend Yuji, who was half black and half Japanese. So we had perfectly one and a half black dudes <laughs> and one and a half Asian dudes. And we called ourselves the Yellow Panthers. <laughs> I know. I wish I was making this up, but I'm not. <laughs> the Yellow Panthers was a real rap group. And we had a real rap song. It was called Underground Railroad Builder. <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> Eventually, I became a good Asian American, and I went to school to get an economics degree, because that was the easiest degree that can still appease my Asian parents. But then after I graduated, I didn't want to do like econ or finance, so I go, went up to my dad. I was like, Dad, I don't want to do any of this. I, I want to go try and do stand-up. And he's like, what's a, what's a stand-up? You mean like a talk show? I was like, yeah, sure, talk show, whatever you want to call it, okay? But I want to go pursue my dreams. And he was like, no. <laughs> pursue your dreams, how you become homeless. <laughs> I was like, no, no, that, that, it's, things are different now. We're in America, okay? In America, we're supposed to do what we love. He was like, no. <laughs> Everyone does what they hate for money and use the money to do what they love. 